Hey, this is Troy and Wes and the Largemouth Bass Soft Plastic we usually use on a daily basis. First, we got probably my favorite box here, what I use on a daily basis. Fits in my bag really well. Um, we got some watermelon seed yum dingers. Those were 4 inch. That's, we usually just use 4 inch. But we got a couple 7 inch big ribbon tail worms and all that, but we'll get to that later. And we got some flick shakes, watermelon candy. One of my other favorite colors. Then we got some pearl and smoke, like a smoke and black pepper uh, flukes, a bunch of flukes. Then we got some watermelon candy uh, yum dingers, rigged up wacky rig with a weed guard. I don't know if you can see that, but got the weed guard on it and everything. Then we got smoke and pearl, like silver fleck Cinco's, and those work well. We use those a lot. And the bass are really active. Then we got pearl sinkos, which we don't usually use because they don't bite very well. But off with that. And now we are moving on to the curly tails, tubes, and etc. First, we got the maxi ring, great white color, works really well. I use it a couple times. So is Wes. Say hi, Wes. Hi. You sound like a girl, but anyway, this is the. Blue Sapphire 7 inch ribbon tail worm that I don't really use because there's not very many huge fish in the lake we fish usually. Then we got Cherry Coke 4 inch ribbon tail worm. Then more Maxi Ring Purple Swirl with Chartreuse Tail. Then we got Watermelon Seed uh, Big 7 inch ribbon tail worms. And then we got some Watermelon like Watermelon Black. Uh, Cinco's with a flick shake that's kind of like a green and like purple and green fleck. I wish somebody could tell me what it is. But then moving on, we have more. Uh, this is Gander Mountain brand. You just call them sticks, but uh, this is a black color. Then we got black with chartreuse dip tail. Then we got purple swirl. These are all four inch. And then my first bag ever of soft plastics. Uh, never really use them because I moved on since then. But this is a Purple Fire uh, Lucky Strikes. I don't re really use them. They don't really work. Then we got some tubes like a Lemon Pepper one. And then Black and Chartreuse Tail uh, Power Bait 4 inch curly, worm, curly Tail Worm. We got some Lizards like that one's a Nightcrawler. This one's black and like a red fleck then we got golden cracker four inch like and chartreuse tail sorry four inch ribbon tail worm then uh i think this is my dad's favorite uh yeah it actually is this is my dad's like favorite worm to use this is uh a black and like a i think it's called bleeding shad four inch uh like ribbon tail then we got a green and black fleck ribbon tailed worm. Then I got some like it's called some like spike it garlic dip. And I usually use the yellow. It's like to stain your uh Cinco's, but it only the red one only really works on lighter colors and the chartreuse works really well. And then we got some bitty craw tubes that work really well for jig trailers. And, oh, I already went through this. Hold on. Not this part. Then we got some more bitty craw tubes. That one's black pepper. They're both black pepper. Then this is Sunrise Tequila, a 4-inch power worm. Curly tail. Then we got more. This one's an extreme ribbed uh, curly tail worm. Uh, works really well. But we exchanged it for the power, like the four inch power worm with the without the ribs and then we got a like a strawberry blue fleck four inch worm. I use that sometimes. Then we got black, like another extreme rib, black and uh silver white that yeah, pearl tail. Then we already went through that, and then we got some, uh, like a five inch, 
curly tail worm by big boy bites. Ah, hold on, I said that wrong. Big bite baits. Sorry, it's a tongue twister. It's a black with like a silver and red fleck. I don't know what you'd really call it. Then, thanks Wes. And then uh, we got what we really our pride and joy. What we really love to use is these these. They're like uh, like the Zoom horny toad, but they're an off brand. They're called Seismic Toads, and we had well, we still have one. We call it the Holy Grail. It's like, it's the master of all master. We probably got 20 fish off of like three. They're Seismic Toads Junior. They're like little three-inch ones. And they are insanely good. But like a one-out hook on there. No weight. Just skip it on the top. If anybody knows how to make these or sell these or anything, please like comment and show us where they're at because we'll buy on the spot because they're really nice. And... Then we have, I think this is caterpillar color. It's kind of weird, but then we got like a smoking shad frog. Never really used that one, but I really like these like popper. They're like popper soft plastic frogs. They really work. They're all like white belly and chartreuse bellies. This one's a different type of top color, but then we got another uh, like seismic toad rig rigged up. Then we got a smoking shad pepper thing. I don't really know what it's called. This color's weird. But Well, that's about it. Oh, I missed one. We got a five inch. Uh, it's like a strawberry kinda like that strawberry fire. Purple fire, sorry. With a blue fleck and chartreuse tail. And that's really it. We just have a lot of miscellaneous stuff laying around places, but we probably, best technique is tech, uh, Texas rig with a 4 inch or wacky rig with a 4 inch uh, yum dinger or Texas rig with a 4 inch curly tail power worm. Like Sunrise Tequila, the best, but really love these. Can really put them on the mats really well and they don't get stuck and bass will just destroy them. Any size can eat that, any size. We've had bluegill bite that huge bluegill. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and... Look, hopefully we'll make more and probably tonight like an hour but thanks for watching subscribe